Now we're going to check my work. There's all manner of things that could go wrong here. All manner of things for me. Um, but I've got quite a lot of experience doing these things and usually experience can override that. That looks really good. So, so far so good. That looks just fantastic. Yeah. See, we get lucky twice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get rid of our belts. The belts um, held down the center area, applying central pressure to this uh, kind of beam. There's clamp number one going off. Coming off. One. Just take it over to here. You'll, we'll know if it's good because it will bulge. It'll come right up and peel upwards. But the other one was just perfect. And let's just check our work, see how I did. I don't know. I've had some problems with this before, as I've said. And, and the worst one is that the glue um, spills over or this sticks. So that guy came off nicely. And there you go. So that's perfect too. Absolutely perfect. Just, just better than I expected. Okay, so now most of those appendages have been taken off. Really all we've got is a shell and a wrap that's nicely adhered to it. Now we will need to put the fittings into this shell and wrap, right? And that wrap is obscuring the holes uh, that we need to exploit in order to get our fittings back into place. So there's no reference on this side because it's a smooth wrap. So what do we do? Well, I um, always just did one simple method, which is to take a nail and um, as long as I get it close to the center, it helps that I nail through the center of this interior hole, nail through the center. And that will be my reference point for exterior side drilling. So we have been, we tapped our nail the other side and I've got one, two, three, four. I know that there's the breather hole. One, two, three, four for two casings. One casing there, one casing there. See what I mean? One casing there, one casing there. Same thing here. 24 for the uh, lug casings and one breather hole. In this case, the breather hole appears right there. I can see it. So one, two, one casing goes there or fitting goes there. Fitting, 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 fitting. That's where they're going to go. So now I'm going to get on the floor and as I, in the great words of Will Swift, I'm going to be getting jiggy with these things and I'll see you at the next stage. We're getting close now. This is a good moment. And that's my little tool that I've invented. And what I'm just gonna do is just finesse it in here and I'll be able to feel if it's wood. Oops, I'll be able to feel if it's wood or... And we just gotta, when I hear that snapping sound, that's, that's why we're doing it. We're oversizing the, uh, the plastic and trying not to touch any affect the wood. Yeah, you can feel it. It's time for the plastic wrap to come off. There's nothing more to do. It's the next stage and I must say I'm a bit nervous. So I've got my good luck toque on here. And we'll start with this one. Now, not much can go wrong, but uh, famous last words, as they say. Let's just see how we go here. We want to be thoughtful about the whole thing and careful um, as you go. Just thinking of any way that this beautiful finish could be sort of corrupted, shall we say. So here we go. Looking good. It's coming off. And this really is the moment of truth. 
beautiful red onyx finish. I'm not sure if you can see in the side of the camera view, but I have all of my fittings already. Rather than just tear it, I'm going to make sure I can see, I can see what's happening. See if there's anything. There's a little scratch, that, <laughs> tiny little scratch there. You know, okay, so there she goes, the last bit, and this is the join. I got my good luck toque on, so this is the moment of toque. <laughs> there she goes, coming off. I don't want anything to touch that. I want to uh, put my fittings on, I, and the potential for a scratch is high, very high here. I'll just keep peeling it off. I've got to get those fittings on, and there's a hair that got it. <laughs> cute. Someone's hair got stuck inside it. Let me just get a better grip here. Beautiful red onyx. Um, cut by Precision Drum Company in New York State. And there you go. Cut to Precision by Precision Drum Company. Sure is exciting to be at this stage. It's taken. It doesn't take long. Once you're in the project, I'm going to stick with the theme of going downwards here. One. It's starting to look easy, eh? Two. That one slotted in nicely. Oh, sticking out. And then that one there, here we go. Final go on this. One glove, one hand, finger tight first. So these are pretty tight, but they're not quite torque tight. Not quite hitting torque. The torque of a hitter. This should be the last one, and then so, oh. good. Well, that's it. Those two are done. Final thing. Um, as far as wrapping a drum shell is concerned, uh, will be the eyelet or the breathing hole right here. I've got one right here. I should be able to just do this. I've got a different kind of file now. This is a more refined file. And this is what I use on a chainsaw. It's going to observe this thing, and now over the top here, I'm going to try, of course I need it to be a circle. And if I can see areas that are not circular, then I'm going to go after those. Okay, now that's got to be closer, because if you go too far, it won't grip the thing. Okay, there you go. So now we know that that is going to grip it for the rest of its days. It's got a nice tight grip on it. Just get rid of the dust on this side. It's the easiest thing on earth. That truly is our final job. The wrap procedure is over. And the final thing is this. Always be careful not to... Um, okay, so there you can see it's not in yet. And all I do with my breather um, eyelet is push it in like that. Nice and snug. And that gives a very nice finish. I like that. That's it. Goodbye.